Yes. Uh, please, uh, remain standing po. Basahin po natin yung text natin. Uh, we're going to read our text from Book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 6, uh, chapter 6, verses uh, 7 to 10. Let us read po in unison. Uh, Galatians, chapter 6, verses 7 to 10. Okay, basahin po natin. Ready? Read. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. What your man so with that shall he also reap. For we that sow it to his flesh shall also flesh reap corruption. But he that sow it to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto the man who are the household of faith. Thank you. Please be seated. Amen. So, uh, before ang nag-title po, I, I gave a title from this chapter also, uh, it is good to do good for Christ. Now, the title is, Let Us Not Get Tired in Doing Good. Let Us Not Get Tired in Doing Good. So, before anything else po, I just want to take this opportunity to thank God for His faithfulness in our lives, sa buhay ko at sa buhay po ng aking asawa. Tomorrow will be our 23rd uh, wedding anniversary. 23rd pa lang. <laughs> okay. It will be because uh, para malam nyo na lang taon na po kami kinasal, kung ilang taon na po si Aljun David, idagdag nyo lang yung one year. So, 22 na po si Aljun. So, we are uh, on our 23rd tomorrow. Uh, so, praise God po for uh, the blessing. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, praise God po. And also, uh, it is a one more blessing po. Uh, uh, ito pong, uh, uh, what do you call this? This uh, same ni Aljon ay medyo bumaba po yung tuition fee niya. Nagulat din ako, medyo mababa. Just pray for the provision po. Pero mas bumaba po ngayon yung tuition fee niya. Praying na, hoping and praying that if it is God's will, mabayaran po namin lahat yung six months kasi po medyo mababa ngayon. Nagulat ako. Kaya nag-get fourth year, dun bumaba yung ano niya, yung... Uh, tuition fee niya. So, it is, it is a blessing po. So, please pray for us that God will continue to provide. Amen. Amen. So, thank God po. So, this afternoon, we're going to study po the, this four verses, but I will be, uh, will be on verse 1. Pupunta po tayo sa verse 1, going down to verse 10. But this afternoon, at, we're, we're going to see how, how the things that we do for the Lord will not be wasted. Mga bagay po na, that we are doing for the Lord will be restored in heaven, in heaven's storehouse. So, we're going to uh, study this and I hope and I pray that we'll be encouraged, we'll be, uh, we're going to be, tawag uh, dito, yung, we'll be motivated in continue serving the Lord by doing good for Him. Amen. <coughs> Amen. So, here, in verse 7 po, in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, it says here, Be not deceived, God is not mad, for whatsoever a man soweth, that he also, also, Rip. Here, we're going to see, we're going to study this verse and we're going to see the things that we need to do as a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ. Here it was mentioned in the first uh, place of that verse 7, Paul is still rebuking the, the Galatian uh, brethren here. He's saying, be not deceived. Because if you're going to look at it, here they are trying to make themselves something when they are nothing. Even us, we are nothing before the Lord. Without the Lord, we cannot do anything. It says, be not deceived. Be not deceived means thinking to be something. They are thinking to be something. You look at the problem in verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. Considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. He says, when you do this, you do it in the spirit of meekness. And we are doing this because because of the law of Christ, and this is the law of love. So here we are going to see it, that the Lord says, when, uh, Paul says, when, you, when we do these things, let us do it with a spirit of meekness 
and with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. But here you will see in verse 7, it says, Be not deceived. God is not mad, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So here we can see in verse 3, it says here in verse 3, If a man think, think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. So here, all of us, that like our pastor always saying, that all of us are equal. Whatever you do, whatever the things that we do, anong po yung mga ginagawa natin sa Panginoon, if we are really doing it for the Lord, they are all blessed by the Lord. Amen. And even uh, Brother Jeremiah, he said, even kung taga, if you're even your job, your ministry is to, to mop the floor, if you're doing it for the Lord, it will be rewarded. If I'm a preacher, I preach for the Lord, I will be rewarded. But if you are doing something and you are not doing it for the Lord, it will not be rewarded. Let us go in Romans chapter 12, verse 3. Romans 12, 3 says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Let us not think of who we are, but let us think of who the Lord is in our life. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5 says, Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Our sufficiency is of God. Sa Kanya tayo tumitingin, sa Kanya tayo umaasa, sa Kanya po natin lahat inihingi ang mga bagay nito. For without Him, we cannot do anything. What does says in, in our James chapter 1, verse 22? James 1, 22 says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. How do we deserve ourselves? We deserve ourselves as a Christian when we hear the word of God and we, we, we don't put them in practice. Though we are weak, but we still need the strength of God in doing it. That's why when we hear the word of God, you remember the, the one who built his house upon the rock? But the one who built his house upon the sun is what? It, uh, it crumbles, nawala. Because it is not, it is not the, right, the right foundation. But when we do all these things, when we hear the word of God, and we put them in practice, we are making ourselves, uh, we make the name of our Lord Jesus Christ glorified in our life. But when we hear the word of God and we do not put them in practice, we are deceiving ourselves. It says in the same verse that God is not mocked. God is not mocked. What does it mean? You cannot fool God. We cannot fool God. When we, when we do that, we only deceive ourselves. But look, in whatever the things that we do, God knows it. We cannot fake it. Marami pong krisa, bagamat but sa bagamat minsan, it is not good thing to say that there are some professing Christians, they are saying that they are Christian, but what they are doing is, it is not really for the Lord. Maybe because they are not really saved. They don't know re how to really react on following and obeying the word of God in their life. That's why Paul said, don't be deceived, don't be deceived. In James 1.22 says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. Let us put the word of God in practice or else we, are just, we will just deceive ourselves. In verse 4, Galatians 6, 4 says, But let every man to prove his own work and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Here, if you're going to study the verse, there is a warning. There is a warning po in, this, in verse 4 of chapter 6. The warning is this, the habit of comparing ourselves with others. That is the warning there. We, when we envy or we, when we envy, we destroy our faith. See, you know, when, when, when you always envy anyone, it will ruin your faith. It will ruin our faith. And that is the warning. Stop. I always, I'm always uh, uh, inspired and encouraged when Pastor Joel said, do not compare yourselves to others. You compare yourselves to the Lord. And when we compare ourselves to the Lord, we are nothing. And yet, we are nothing. We are being, we are being, the, what do you call this? Nabibigyan po tayo ng kahalaga ng Panginoon natin. Though we are nothing. 
And that's who we are before the Lord. In Luke 18, 11 says, look at this. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. We don't do that. Because in whatever things that we do in our church, we do it for the Lord. And let the Lord Jesus Christ be seen in our church. Let the Lord Jesus Christ be seen in our life. Paul is pointing out here that we will be examined individually and not in comparison with others at the judgment seat of Christ. One day we're going to face the Lord. But for us as a Christian, yes, we have our weaknesses. We, we struggle in our life. But we are excited for the judgment seat of Christ. Marami ko tayong habalbakan. But imagine this. Imagine this. When we stand before the Lord, it is a day that something, I don't know what word we are going to use. Hindi ko alam kung gagamitin natin salita. When we stand before the Lord. That's why, let us not compare ourselves to others. Doon po nagsisimula ang problema. But we are going to compare ourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ who gave us importance then we will see who we are. Okay. So in verse 8, Galatians 6, 8, it says here, For he that served to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that served in the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. It is in sa verse 7. It says that, God is not see for whatsoever a man served, that he shall also reap. If we we be so in our flesh, we're going to reap corruption. Corruption here is destruction. But he that soweth in the spirit shall of the spirit life everlasting. In whatever things that we do for the Lord, it will be stored in heaven. Imagine this. Beautiful, maybe we don't have uh, money in our bank. Sa ating mga tawag dun. With our ATM, they are empty. Maybe they are empty. But in whatever things that we do here for the Lord, they are being stored there. They are being deposited in heaven, and one day we're going to offer them to the Lord. We're going to give, to give it to the Lord. And I pray, I just pray that. I go, Lord, I'm praying that uh, I hope when the time that we're going to offer our crowns to you, I'm praying that I'm going to give crown that you offer to That the things that will make us happy to glorify God in our lives. All things that are done in the flesh are temporary. Alam po natin yan. They are not rewardable. They are not rewardable. But here, imagine this. Look at the, the things that we, when the things we do for the Lord, the Bible mentioned that, that even a glass of water, di ba? Pag sinabi yung, even a glass of water, when you give it to a brother, to a sister, and you do it for the Lord, there is a reward. Dito nga, tinatapon yung tubig eh. Diba? But look at this. Even a glass of water, if we do it for the Lord Jesus Christ, it will be rewarded. And that is the thing that we are so excited. Corrupt, uh, the word corruption means destruction or perishing. So all the things that we do in the flesh will perish. For he that soweth to his flesh means in verse 3, for if a man thinketh of himself to be something, yun yung nawawala. Those are the things that being, uh, are not being rewarded. For in ourselves, we are not spiritual but carnal the flesh is devo devoted to selfishness without the Lord Jesus Christ that's why only we rely on him in our Christian life yes we have the strength but it is from the Lord and we know that even our lives belongs to him that's why and all the things that we do we are asking him tayo ay uh, nagsusumamo sa kanya nabigyan na tayong lakas para mapaglingkuran po natin ng Panginoon and that is the things that we need to do. What does it say in Galatia 5.16? It says there, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So in able for us to, to, to avoid selfishness, let us ask the Holy Spirit to guide us, to help us. The Holy Spirit is already there. In Galatia 5.25 it says, If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. What does it mean, if we live in the Spirit? It is not an occasion, occasional influence of the Spirit in the comes and go. But an abiding state. 
the Holy Spirit is already with us. We are in a continue. We are in. We are continually alive. Though sometimes we are sleeping or inactive, but the Holy Spirit is always there. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. We just have to submit ourselves to Him. Look at this. If we are in the flesh, we see that sowing to the flesh means spending one's money on oneself. Kapag ikaw ay nasa sarili, makasarili ka, one's own pleasure and comfort. But we are, if we are in the Spirit, sowing to the Spirit is using one's money for the furtherance of God's interest. Although sometimes may mga pangailangan tayo, but when we give to the Lord, especially in our church now, it is it, the right giving is being taught to us. How we give to the Lord, how we give to the ministry. And when we give to the ministry, it is the right thing. We are thinking that it is, we are giving it for the Lord, for the furtherance of the gospel. Why? Because when the, the gospel is being preached, at tayo po sumusuporta sa gawain ng Panginoon, we are being rewarded also. And that's something that we need to be happy and to be joyous. In Romans 6, 8 says, Now if we, be le- if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Him. W- what does it mean? They who sow in tears cannot reap wheat. Yung mga nagtanim po ng, ng tears cannot reap wheat. Those who sow in the Spirit will reap life eternal. So yung mga bagay po na ginagawa, all the things that we do for the Lord will be rewarded and will be stored in heaven. Something na parang is something like common. But one day we are going to be surprised. Na meron ka palang sinyeran at nakakilala naglingkod sa Panginoon. The one who shared to me, you know what, when I was studying in Balintias as a pastor, he shared to me the gospel, but he don't know that I continued, that I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. And now I am serving. He don't know that. But maging tayo po, even us. Maybe we help someone and because of that help, he came to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And one day, we will be rewarded in heaven. And those are the things that we reap. Those are the life eternal uh, reward for us. And one day, magugulat mo tayo. What does it say in, in, in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 18? The wicked worketh deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. And that is the word of God. The word of God said there will be a sure reward for us. Hosea o- 10.12 says, Sow your, to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord. Till he come and reign righteousness upon you. What does the verse says? It is time for us to seek the Lord. It is, means that it is the time for us to do, for the, do something for the Lord. Dito po marami yung mga discouragement, kagaya nga ni Sister Gana, sabi niya, nadi-discourage po tayo. Sometimes we see things that, is, that are not uh, appropriate. But when we do things for the Lord, they will always be rewarded. Though sometimes, nangihinayang po tayo. So to yourselves in righteousness, nothing will be wasted. Anything that we do for the Lord, anything we do for righteousness, for Christ's sakes, they will not be wasted. Galatians 6, 9 says, and let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. In verse 8, if we, we sow, if we sow in the Spirit, we will reap life everlasting. And in verse 9 says, and let us not be weary. Let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall, we shall reap if we faint not. Faint means lose heart. But listen to this. It is easy to lose heart, especially when we see nothing is happening. Good example, prayer. Diba? Sometimes, Pastor Ati Bell, we she prayed for Tatay, Tatay Paddy for 13 years po ba? 13 years. But after 13 years, kung nakakilala po siya, and now he is in heaven. Something that is rewarding. But sometimes when we when we see like nothing is happening, we, are, we faint. We lose heart. But at the other side of that, it is also the time to hang on, to hang on for in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Yung po yung kabaliktara ng sometimes we lose heart. When we lose heart, we see something in a negative way, it seems nothing is happening in our life. But in a positive way, 
Well, if we're going to continue keep on keeping on for the Lord, we are going to see the harvest. It says in James 5, 7 and 8, Be patient therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Verse 8, Be ye also established, your, be ye also patient, established, Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Draw it na- draw it night. Draw it night. Dito po makita po natin yung some one thing that we need to see when we when we wait for the Lord. Sometimes we say it's long, nothing is happening. But one day, the coming of the Lord will be there. At ang lahat po ng ating pag susumika, pag titiis, lahat po ng luha, lahat ng pagpapagod. God will reward all those things that we have done for Him. Sabi niya rito, look at the farmer. They are waiting for the fruit. They are waiting for the harvest. Even us, we are just waiting for the harvest. Sure win na po tayo. We are already you know, on a victory side. We are just keeping, keeping it for the We are just waiting, it, waiting for the Lord. Waiting po dun sa kaganapan na gagawin ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Sometimes we lose heart. Sometimes... We get discouraged, but if you're going to look at it, it says in verse 8 of James chapter 5, the coming of the Lord is coming near. And we are so excited. I just, I just remember po when I was in a, still a small boy, my father is working in Manila. And he, umuwi siya every, I think every 6 in the evening from Manila to Pampanga. And you know what? Every day, it is not something, it is, hindi po ito pakunwari, that every day that he comes home, kami pong magkakapatid, nagsisigawan saya, sa saya, kasi dumating na po ang tatay namin. How much more when the Lord comes? People says, napakakore na mga bata, no? kasi nagsisigawan po kami, we're, we're, we're yelling, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, tata, tata, tata. Because we're so really excited seeing him. How much more kung makikita pa po natin ang ating Diyos? na buhay. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1 Therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy we faint not. Habang naglilingkod po tayo sa Panginoon nakikita natin ang biyaya ng Diyos pero sa pamagitan po nun hindi, to po, hindi po tayo nangihinawa hindi tayo nangihinayang sa mga ginagawa natin because we are doing it for the Lord. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 Thessalonians 3.13 but be ye, but ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. He's saying is, huwag kayong magulumayan, huwag kayong magalala. Don't worry. All these things that you do will be rewarded. What does it mean? Tignan niyo po ito. On earth, everything must be seen by our naked eyes to prove something. On, ganyan po ang, ang mundo. They need to, to see is to believe. But for us, we don't see it, right? But we can see it through the eyes of faith. And in that, we can keep on keeping on for the Lord. Don't worry, malapit na po ito. Ilang verse na lang po tayo. It says here, ito po yung familiar verse that we always say in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. It says here, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much, as much as you know that your, that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. If you are going to uh, study that verse, in a, begin po natin by seeing kahulugan, it simply means the Lord sees all. The Lord sees all. In all the things that we do, it says, be yet steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. All of the things that we do for the Lord, are being seen by Him. Nakikita niyo po lahat ng mga ano. And I hope and I pray that in all of these things, may encourage po tayo. Though sometimes dumarating po yung problema that sometimes it seems like we cannot bear it. But you know what? The Bible says, the Bible will keep on keeping on to encourage us. It says, be not st- be ye steadfast and move above all. Because all of these things, ang lahat ng ito, yung problema natin, or whatever things that we experience in our life, they will crumble, but the Word of God will still stand, and it will remain. 
Last verse, Galatians chapter 6, verse 10, As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. If you're going to study this, Paul is making his closing letter in chapter 6. In conclusion, Paul is saying, let us apply this in our lives. That is what Paul is saying. He says, we, as we have the opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Paul is saying, let us apply this in our life. And if you're going to be uh, going to uh, examine the, the, the burst, burst then Paul says, let us. Paul is including himself to do these things for the Lord because no one is excused. All of us, we need to do good for the Lord. All of us, we need to, uh, uh, we need to see that all the things that we do for the Lord are not being wasted. So before I close, well, let me just read this. What does it say in, uh, in Romans chapter 12, verse 13? 12, 13 says, Distributing to the necessity of saints, giving hospitality. This is what we do. This is what Paul is saying in verse 10. In John chapter 9, verse 4, I must work the work of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. While we still have the chance, while we still have the time, let us do all these things for the Lord. And Paul says in verse 9, let me just close in verse 9, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. That is what Paul is saying here. He's encouraging us not to be weary in doing good, because in, in the right time, they will be rewarded if we will not stop, if we will not lose heart. So I pray, I hope and I pray, and I encourage po tayo, and pray that uh, we will continue to do these things for the Lord. Yung pong lahat ng ginagawa natin dito sa church, alam po ng Panginoon. Maybe someone is not tapping you at your shoulder, pero the Lord is seeing what you are doing. So tayo po lahat ay tumayo, and let us close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this afternoon. We are so grateful.